In this video, I'm gonna show you how you schedule your videos to YouTube with StreamYard. Hi, my name is Desiree, and I'm here to help you grow your business with better social media and content marketing. Before I show you how to schedule with YouTube, I wanna make sure that you have a really professional live stream. So go grab my overlay templates that I have for you in the description down below that are free so that you can easily change out the text and take your live stream from meh to yes. So let's head over to the computer where I'm gonna show you how to schedule a YouTube live stream with StreamYard. Schedule your live stream into YouTube. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the destination in place. I already have my YouTube account in here, but you just go to add destination, click on YouTube channel, and then it's going to connect to your Gmail and you can select whatever account it is that you have logged in to it. But since I already have mine in there, I'm just gonna go up. I'm gonna select create a broadcast. So I'm gonna select my YouTube channel and then I'm gonna type in my title. I encourage you to have all of this information planned ahead of time. That way you can just copy and paste it in. Okay, and then you can make it public, unlisted, and private. In the case of this, I'm just gonna make this um, unlisted because I don't want it to go public onto my YouTube channel because my audience might get a little confused. And then I'm gonna hit schedule for later. You're going to wanna upload your um, thumbnail image. Again, do this ahead of time because it's gonna be a lot more difficult and a lot more work to go into the, because you have to go into YouTube directly to add in the thumbnail, make the modification. So just do this ahead of time, have this planned. And you're gonna make sure that you have your thumbnail size to 1280 by 720, which is the standard thumbnail size for YouTube. And conveniently enough, it's also the same size for Facebook as well. Schedule it for the time that you need it. Uh, adjust your time. Your time is going to be based on your current time setting for your computer. So in my case right now, it says 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So this would be 11 a.m. Pacific or 2 p.m. Eastern if you're going to do this. I want to take a second to talk about the description because this is really important. This description is what goes into the whole body of your YouTube post. Yes, you can go into the YouTube post and edit that description later, but why are you doing double work? You should be planning out this live just like you do any other video. If you're not familiar with how I encourage you to plan out your videos, you're gonna go watch the video that's in the cards right now about how to plan your videos because you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the right keywords, the right titles, and you have the good description and that you have optimized it for SEO just like you would any other YouTube video. All of that pre-planning is vital to the success of your live stream, just as well as it's vital to the success of the YouTube video itself. You should be recording for the replay, and so you wanna make sure that um, that includes how you set everything up. But for this case, because I'm just demoing it, I am not doing all of this work, but I encourage you to have that already planned out ahead of time. So you're just gonna go to Create Broadcast. So as you can see, it is scheduled, it shows when it was created, um, and I can, if I'm gonna have a guest, I can click here and invite guests to get this link to send to them in an email or a message of some kind. Okay, so when you go into YouTube, um, you can, because I have it set to unlisted, I, I had to go into my YouTube studio to see it, and then you have to click this live button, and you can see it right here. So as you can see, I have the video that I just did scheduled to go up at 8 a.m., and then I can just click here to get the link um, to share it with my audience if I wanna promote this as maybe like a private training or something I'm doing exclusively for my audience where only those who have the link can see it. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the StreamYard broadcast itself natively, and you're going to want to set up your broadcast for success by having everything that you need in place for it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your logo on or off. You wanna make sure you have all of your overlays preferably laid out in a way that you're going to show them. Remember when you're doing this, the static ones are first and then the video ones will be pushed to the bottom. And then of course that you have like your overlays and stuff in place so that you can have that branded content that looks super good. And of course you have it here. Hi. So, and then of course, if you need another place to invite your guests, you can click this link right here uh, to invite them in as well. Now, if you would like to delete this broadcast, all you have to do is go to more, hit delete, and you can delete it from YouTube as well. So that it not only is gonna delete from your dashboard, but it also delete it from YouTube so you don't have to worry about it. And that's all that you have to do. Now, if you're looking to have a truly successful live stream, I want you to watch this video right here where I'm gonna show you what a successful live stream looks like from start to finish. And until next time, I'll see you soon.